Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are making, we're doing a top five favorite comic book covers tag. Uh, well, it's not really a tag, but uh, this is going to be very opinionated. So, if you guys don't, uh, you know, like watching other people's opinions, then that's uh, your problem. Also, uh, shout out to DS Comics. He's been really supportive lately. And I'm really, um, really thankful for him. So shout out to him uh, for commenting on one of the videos, liking them, and uh, leaving nice comments. It's really appreciated. So let's start with my number five pick, which is Uncanny X Men 216. I know I just got this, but I got it for the cover. It's an awesome cover. It's got Wolverine and Storm beating up Crimson Commando. If you guys watched my last video, I did a full-fledged review on this. Really cool. Really, really like it. And, uh, it, it does make for a really cool front issue. This goes in the very front of my, uh, um, X-Men collection. And I will be doing a collection at the end of the year. Whenever I do, whenever I see people, I usually like to do it at the... Beginning of the the end of the year, just to see how my collection has progressed. So at the end of the year, uh, stay tuned for that. But awesome comic, and uh, I'm really happy to have it. Uh, always like first appearances of uh, pretty not well known characters, and he's definitely not at all well known. So I like to have it because it's a first appearance. Because maybe one day he'll grow big, and then that'll be worth some money, you know. And I'm not just into comics for money, obviously. I actually love reading the stories inside. We got Amazing Spider-Man 63 from 1968. Really awesome cover. Uh, but uh, the only problem with it is that it's just... Well, it's not, there's no problem with it. It's cool. I'm just not a huge fan of the Vulture. But if this was like a Hobgoblin cover, it would be probably number one. And this <laughs> video could have all been Todd and McFarlane covers, but I didn't. Just to make it more of a diversity thing. But really awesome cover. Really glad to have it. Uh, next up we got Classic X-Men, issue number one. This is just a reprint of uh, Giant Size X-Men, but it's still awesome. I forgot to mention that in the review, so... Awesome, awesome book, though. I love this cover. It's got all the X-Men, like Wolverine and Cyclops and Colossus and Storm. Um, if you want me to do, like, a top five favorite X-Men, I'll definitely do that. Um, awesome, awesome comic, though. Uh, uh, my number two pick. This was really hard to decide. I'm going to have to give number two... The Steve Rogers Captain America number eleven, just an amazing cover. I love this cover so much. You can see like the blood on uh him here. Why am I blanking on his name? Uh, I don't remember his name right now. I haven't read this in a while, but the awesome cover. And you can see Captain America there on uh, the reflection and the blood down his head, and it's amazing. Uh, what an amazing cover. I just love it. It's definitely my favorite out of the Steve Rogers cap, and I loved this series. Like, this was my favorite series. And, um, then they had to end for Secret Empire, which was not good. But that's for an entirely different video, which I'll probably do eventually. And my favorite cover ever is Amazing Spider-Man 328. Um, uh, Todd McFarlane cover. Love Todd McFarlane's art. Um, I was also thinking of my top five era, favorite Spider-Man uh, era slash comic series, so I'll probably have to do that. Amazing how we Spider-Man, like, uppercutting him straight into space. Literally, if you've read this, you know what I'm talking about. And Spider-Man has so many overpowered, like, powers in this. He's got, like, cosmic abilities. He can fly, he can breathe in space or something like that. It's ridiculous. But it's awesome, and I really like this one. I could have picked Todd McFarlane's uh, Spider-Man number one, and I do like that cover just a tiny bit better, but this is my comic, it's not my dad's comic, so amazing, amazing cover. So for a recap, 
Uh, if you want to see a recap, I'll probably do a recap. Uncanny X-Men 216. Amazing Spider-Man 63. Classic X-Men issue number one. Steve Rogers Cap issue 11. And Ama Amazing Spider-Man 228. Oh, sorry, 328. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.